When we speak about fiber reinforced composite materials, we think of outstanding mechanical properties. High strength, high stiffness, low weight, low susceptibility to fatigue and corrosion, and all that is true. As a result of using these uh, high strength and high stiffness fibers, we end up with a material that is particularly efficient under tensile loading. However, in compression, there are some limiting factors, mainly due to failure mechanisms associated with fiber microbuckling, fiber kinking, which at the same time is linked to fiber waviness, or some defects within the matrix or interface. And all these mechanisms can even couple at different length scales, making the compression phenomenon highly, highly complex. NextComp gathers people from the University of Bristol, Imperial College, and industry to collaboratively focus on the challenge of improving the absolute performance of composites in compression. And we try to do that by completely redesigning the composite, all the way from the molecules in the matrix to the final layout in the components, which means that we are developing new constituents, new architectures, and all this designed within a novel analytical and computational framework. A key challenge is improving the compressive performance of composites using a hierarchical approach. We take inspiration from nature, looking at hierarchical composite materials such as bamboo, wood and bone. My work in particular bases composites around protruded rods and we then add shear support to those rods in various different ways to improve the way they perform under compression. My work mainly revolves around fibres and their interface and I'm coating carbon fibres with carbon nanotubes to improve the interfacial properties of the produced composite uh, as well as using Raman spectroscopy of fibres under compressive deformation to investigate the interfacial shear stress along the fibres. So my role within NextComp is to develop and evaluate uh, matrix materials which are going to be used in the next generation of composite materials. Uh, these materials are expected to offer more than double the compressive performance of the best uh, carbon reinforced materials currently on the market. We try to improve existing experimental methodologies and come up with novel techniques that can help us to understand and measure specific mechanisms relevant to the phenomenon of compression in composites. With this understanding, we will be able to manipulate and optimize the full compression capability of the composite. So what I really find exciting about NextComp is the collaborative nature of the program. And thanks to that collaboration, we've got the opportunity to work with a range of very talented individuals across all fields of composite materials. We make the most of our highly creative and diverse team, all from different backgrounds, which help us to take a very interdisciplinary approach, supported by contributions from international advisors, collaborators, as well as from our academic and industrial partners. The combination of people, connections, knowledge, expertise, and the relevance of the topic make NextComp a project with high potential to revolutionize the composites industry and allow much wider use of composites in areas which they haven't been able to be used before.